that notifications on so you don't miss an episode what's going on guys welcome back to logically podcast we have uh, uh some weird news for everybody today um there was a mutual agreement that maybe um you know th this business isn't for everybody as you know we usually have uh joe here with us um it's it's not for everybody eventually. It wasn't nothing. We didn't, we thought he was great, but he just felt like he wanted to branch off and do his own thing. So, uh, that's a sad goodbye to Joe. Um, a little weird, uh, for sure. It, it's been a weird couple of weeks trying to figure everything out. Um, but, uh, how you doing, man? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. <laughs> I want to make fun of you so bad, but I can't because I love you. I love you, right? <laughs> Just the two of us, right? <laughs> Just the two well, of us. Well, sort of. Why is your hands, first of all, A, soft, B, warm? Why? <laughs> <laughs> B, uh, why? Why? <laughs> why? Um, Guys, so stuff happens, all right? We move, right? We're not going to talk about your soft hands anymore, right? We're always moving on to better and better things obviously if you guys can see sorry to interrupt you um i'm gonna go back to what you were saying um i always try to make it lighthearted, but obviously you guys noticed uh the last few episodes has been uh primarily just the two of us yeah um and again no disrespect to anybody this was a very mutual thing nobody's upset with anybody we're not upset with anybody um we just come to the conclusion that you know this wasn't his fit and he just you know wanted to branch off and do his own thing and we wish him the best of luck uh you know and yeah. i hope he does great and better things with that being said go ahead <laughs> <laughs> i love putting you on the spot it makes me feel good about myself you feel powerful feel powerful i got a strong you know voice I gotta use it sometimes. Ugh. I'm like a soul sister. That's what I discovered. You are a soul sister. I am a soul for sure. You sexy. Thank you. Sexy soul sister. Somebody, some old lady complimented me about my skin. You cracked that. I forgot to tell you you can do that. Yeah. I forgot. I forgot to. No, you can crack more. Yeah, that's fine. You good? That's fantastic. My nipples don't need to be too hard. What? 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 Nipples. Uh, so, what? Uh, without further ado, obviously. Um, we started the show with a certain dynamic, and that's how we plan to continue the dynamic. Um, with adding two white guys and one black guy, that was our dynamic because... It's a perfect dynamic, if you ask because me. Because if there's two black guys, some people will feel insecure. And get but, dominated. But with this person that we're bringing on today, yeah. if we were to put our dicks together, me and him... It'd be the same size as Moe's hog. So that's the dynamic that we have. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't want this to turn out to a casting couch. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a warm welcome for Tom. Hey, what's up, sexy? What up, guy? Hold on. There we go. How's his hands feel? His hands feels rough like a working man. Unlike you, you soft ass, piece of shit ass. Uh, I work. I work too a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Even though I worked on the computer all fucking day. I was just gonna say just I just have huge calluses right here. <laughs> right on your fingertips. I have huge calluses. That's what a man's hand. Those is. are real calluses. Show the cameras that. Look at that. Look at his calluses. Yeah, because he also lifts. How does it feel when you masturbate? Does it hurt? I dude, honestly, I don't even use my hand. What what do you do? He got hosed! <laughs> That's what he's trying to say. So I'm under this weird impression i heard obviously behind the scenes before this started today that uh what you guys had a little rough beginning yeah we got uh, i mean you know we started off a little a little tight you know what i'm saying i walked in right he looked at me weird right i looked at him back again right and he was like uh fucking what is this in your little bostonian accent fucking amateur hour where's the jeans what did you kid? say to him what happened i don't like his fucking pants I don't like him. I don't think I've ever seen you wear a pair of jeans. 
Yeah, that's my thing. I don't wear jeans and I wear nice kicks, all right? I'm black. Sue me. I don't really like your pants much either. I don't like you. He looks like a fucking Walmart shop. No, 100%. Hey, hey guys, if I have to work with two vampires that burn the sun, right? I'm allowed to wear fucking joggers. (laughs) (laughs) Clip it! (laughs) (laughs) Holy shit. But what's up, dude? What's going on, man? What's going on? Bring that mic a little closer to your face. How's that? That's good. Wow, you're... Got a good voice, sexy voice. Got a sexy voice. Hell yeah, I like it. The ladies like it. Uh, I will. I will tell you guys. Uh, He's about to get a pyong and keep doing that. All right. <laughs> pyong. Pyong. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this like this is an audience, but make him feel very welcomed as he is fucking nervous. He's literally shaking. I'm not shaking. He, he was just shaking. I, 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 I'm shaking my leg. You're in the corner doing reps for Jesus. Careful with careful with your shaking of the legs. You don't want to hit the camera. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Much so I'll switch feet. Got it. Hey, man, when are you going to just finally just say those shoes are dead? Yeah, they <laughs> have been fucking dead. <laughs> they've been dead for like at least a year and a half now, right? They have been so fucking dead. You walk, you wear For a year. They've been dead for like a year. There's That's our sponsor. I don't know how the many train, episodes train. you've seen, but that's our sponsor. We don't get much from them. Perfect timing. Um, So I'm going to give a little background on Tom over here. Uh, So I met Tom working a few years ago. God damn it. I, uh, we're working one day. I'm going to get right into this. We're going to get right Let's into this. We're working one day. And I'll tell you this. Please do tell me this. I and like hearing stories. It was stories. me, Tom, and another kid. I can't remember his name. And we were, we were, wor- uh, just regular job. We picked up from the house and we're going to the next house. We're movers. We're, mo- we're movers. Oh, movers. Yeah, moving company. So where's your calluses? I picked he things up gloves. with. Yeah, bullshit! Don't say that. Don't. I'm not a Glover. You you are a Glover, aren't you? You're a Glover, aren't no, you? No, fuck no. You're a Glover. You soft ass Glover. All right, enough of my fucking hands. You make me feel scared. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they, they are small too. Like his Dude. hands, they look like. Uh, you ever seen those uh, Burger King commercials? Yeah. I got these tiny hands. I got a Photoshop. <laughs> uh, but we're working, right? And and we're going to get lunch. And he Sam had, Wing. That was his name. Sam. Yeah, Sam. Shout out Sam. Um, depending on what he eats depends on what his body does, as most people are. But whoopie pies seem to not do... Him many I'm favors. La- I'm lactose intolerant. Oh. Lactose intolerant. Why? Wow, you're going to make fun of him because of his... I'm lactose intolerant too. Exactly. Yeah. I'm gonna say, that, hey, you shouldn't be throwing stones when you live in a glass but house. I don't, but I don't <laughs> eat things that I know are going to fuck me up. Are you serious? So we got to... Okay, I do. <laughs> All but the I make time. sure I'm not... Okay. <laughs> let me fucking explain what happened. So... We get him a whoopie... We get him a whoopie pie. It's like a big ass fucking whoopie pie. He eats it. Yeah. Immediately. Gassy. Right? Oh, okay. I'm like, he starts farting. I find it hilarious. Okay, I'm sorry we're getting right into this, but we gotta get into this, right? And I'm like, bro, every time you gotta fart, let me know. We had a few <laughs> trial we had a few trial and errors for a while. And then eventually he, he's like, Oh, I had one, but I didn't have it. And then he, eventually he's like, Oh, I got one coming, I got one coming. So I kept filming him go up to things to lift things and he and he farts. Oh my god. And I put them all together. And I put I made a two part series, and I posted them on TikTok, and we have like thirty five million all in total on those videos of him cutting the cheese. Jesus <laughs> Christ! Viral. You're viral, viral fart for videos. farts. Yep. That's amazing. Yeah. What am pretty, I viral for? Impressive. Yeah. Wow. Pretty impressive farts. That's amazing. Yeah. I love it. I hate TikTok now. I. Join me. I used to. I met <laughs> him. Me. I met him because I used to go up to him and say racism things. Racism things? Racism things. That's not a word. <laughs> I would apologize to him for slavery and shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, but I always had a good comeback every single time. I remember one time I went off like a five-minute rant, and he was like, why were you so ready? And I was I like, know. left him speechless. It was fantastic. Well, he said so much shit, so it just took me by fucking surprise. Yeah. Um, I loved it. We wrote things down again today. Um, what do we got Why do we write stuff down? So we can introduce him to the audience, right? Well, yeah, I mean, we did that. Uh, so the audience can get a better grasp of who he is. Yeah, tell, tell us about yourself, man. I know what he I know what he does. He is so nervous right now by me saying that. How are you not cooled in? It's fucking been 10 minutes. I'm good. I'm cool. Your dick should be as soft as hell right it's now. It's inverted. <laughs> it's inverted. Okay. okay. 
I have it's inside no balls. of me. <laughs> it's inside of me currently. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <clears throat> so tell us about yourself, dog. I know you're a gym head. I mean, I know everything about you, but these guys don't. Uh, I am. I am an uh, avid gym goer. I've uh, been training for almost three years now. Yeah. Developed a pretty good physique. Better than Chet over here. Oh, you're I, right. A you're, fucking a wall. Right, though. A two by four is better than his fucking physique, but you know. He's got to be. I'm the thickest he, two by four you ever seen, boy. I know. He's, he's got. He's, Ass so flat. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to be consistent. Your consistency is trash. Cash. Yeah. It's awful. Uh, awful. My consistency. This is this is this is the deal with the consistency for me, right? Tell me. I'm always Look at me. busy. Look at me. Always busy. Look at me. I'm looking right at you right now as we fucking speak, Mo. Don't blink. Intensity. Here we go again. You don't blink either. Intensity. Do you really want to play with me with this game right now? <sighs> God, it actually, you do have beautiful eyes. But by the way, back I don't even to like your eyes much. I'm not going to compliment. Oh, I fucking blinked. I win. <laughs> 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 no, but here's the thing. Um, I think uh, I think Tom's right. I think uh, you know consistency is a okay, little so Consistency is. Fucking terrible, because I I I'm always here. Correct, all the time, all the time, all the time. And you never go the times I always think you're going. Now I always see him there. He goes the same time. See, pretty much. He usually what he does. Yeah, yeah, it's, but I see him there all the time. It's Thank like you. the past like four times I went there, you haven't been there. Even on Sundays. I see. I want to go on Sundays. Just the three I of us. To, I literally talked to him. Last yeah. week and said, oh, we should go to the gym before doing the podcast. I probably can't. The, first of all, he the, said, yeah, it sounds good. So yeah, sounds were you good. there before? I'm the down. I really, I really am down. <laughs> were you there before the gym re re uh, renovation? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What the, is that? They, they're not done yet. I haven't been there in a week, right? No, so, no, they're not done. What? Done, what are done. they doing with that room that they have? That's going to become a, 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 a rehabilitation swimming pool. Yeah, I told you it was gonna be for something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's for like people who have like uh, like injuries or whatever. Mm. Get their they're doing all that for that. On the other side, it's another business. Wait, so you know how they expanded it though, right? Are those machines staying spread out like that? It's gonna stay where they are. Yeah, that's the final version. I was there for for two renovations. I was there before what the gym used to be. Yeah, there was another renovation there too. Yeah, I was there for two of those. Yeah, they they, they moved it around even after they did the renovation. They moved it around like three times. Three times, yeah. You haven't been going to that one long, have you? Since before they started renovating it. Yeah, yeah. Like I've been going longer than you. Yeah, because I saw you the day like you tried it out. Six months. Yeah, -ish. something like that. No, nah. it's a great gym. It is, but now it's just too busy. It is, so and I noticed because I. That. Used to go to Planet Fitness. That's where I trained for like two years when I first started back up again. Yeah, yeah. And I noticed like I'm seeing all those people that I saw at Planet Fitness in that gym. Yeah, it's fitness. like it's like yeah. the next step up from Planet Fitness. Yeah. Well, that's the thing though is it's Planet Fitness is always packed. It sucks. I can't stand. There's so many like no offense, but there's so many weird people. Not even that the beginners, but like there's so many weird ass. Fucking yeah, I know you're people. supposed to be like encouraging people to do the gym and like open, you know, with with Let new with, 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 with new people in the gym. But when you get in there and you try to focus, and you can't do that because there's freaking ten high school kids fucking swinging around on the, you know, yeah. equipment. Yeah. Uh, you can't get anything done. Planet and they're always Fitness yelling. is a is an anti gym. I hope you guys know that. It's an anti-gym. It's supposed to be the gym you feel the most comfortable in. Exactly. I feel uncomfortable. I, me too. Yeah, I do too. I always yeah. feel like people are watching me all the time in Planet Fitness. They're waiting for you to like drop weights or do anything like that. Yeah. To have the lunk yeah. alarm going off. It's just oh, like, I see what you're saying. They're, it's the like, anti-gym in yeah, that aspect. Yeah, yeah. The, the fact that they don't let you like be there to like... They want you to be like... They don't want actual they want you to be bodybuilders pussy. Yeah. Or, or gym goers. Gym enthusiasts. To go I there. brought my friend... Fitness professionals. I brought my friend Crispy to that Planet Fitness once and this dude is huge. The most cut you'll ever see. Somebody just... Arms are like gigantic. Um, and... He's very, and I love Crispy, he knows that, but he's very, like, confident. So he was running around that gym, ooh, looking at people going, ooh, let's go, and fucking people were like, oh my god. <laughs> this is not oh, what I signed dude. up for. Yeah. <laughs> Have you guys been to the gym, our gym, uh, with that guy that screams? Jesus him, right? fucking <laughs> You've seen him? Which guy? Christ. Which guy are you talking about? You, you know, know, he screams. He screams. He screams. 
He got the tattoos, mm-hmm. the small little calves. Mm. Is he tall, short? Medium. Medium He's a little height. bit shorter Taller than me? Yes. Yeah. He's okay. cut. He's, uh, hey, he's I muscular. appreciate I appreciate that. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. Saying what? You said a little bit shorter than Mo. Yeah. Oh yeah, Mo. See, Mo's tall and I know that guy that are like six foot five. I'm the, I'm the same height as Tom though. And not then C dot, not you, yeah, Caleb. Not I'm sure C dot's fucking. Oh my god, the tallest person in the world. Unbelievable, right? Even me, I'm like, oh, I'm short compared yeah. to these guys, and I'm like six one. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Fuck. Speaking of C dot, we'll give a we'll give a shout out to C dot. He's got a uh, show coming up this month in his first headlining show outside of Maine. It's in Massachusetts. It's gonna be fucking absolutely where I'm wild. From. Where he's from. And we're going to get into that, too. Also, before I forget, too, I'm going to bring it up again. Uh, July 28th, 29th, I'll be with CDOT in Bangor at G-Force uh, two nights in a row. It's, uh, first night, Friday, is going to be a chem free, and the second night's going to be uh, 21 plus. 21 plus. It's going to be fucking insane. It's going to be dope. You know, come check out the shows, you know, support the boys, and uh, support... Great local artists. And we're working on, it's, it's not official yet, and I probably shouldn't even say it, but I'm going to say it anyway. We're working on getting every cup in that venue for two nights in a row to be Logically Podcast Cups, which is fucking crazy, dude. That's awesome. Hell yeah. It's Hell fucking yeah. absolutely nuts penis. You know what I mean? I hate when you do this. Because <laughs> I know you're right out of stuff to say. You're like, ah. Nuts penis. Uh, yeah, so the guy that who, who I know him screen- personally. Oh, you know him? Yeah. Why does he do that? I actually met him because there. he was screaming. Well, no, not not because he was screaming, but we were in the locker room. He just came up to me and started talking to me, and uh, he knew the company that I worked for because I came in with my work shirt on. Okay. He asked about the company, knows a couple guys I work with, and then I saw him actually the other day on a job site, construction job site in Portland. Are we yeah, talking about he's, the screamer? He's he's, uh, yeah. he, he's like a foreman for a uh, 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 general contractor. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. Uh, uh, we we gotta stop talking about people that nobody that's watching is gonna know what we're talking. No, no, about. no. But the the, the <laughs> most but the, the most annoying part about this person is because he screams and the whole, the whole gym day. knows it, and everybody at the gym, like he was down freaking at the other end we where can the mirrors move over a little this way. I just had to move the camera where the mirrors used to be, and I was up top at the other end, and I could hear, hear him. him through Ooh. headphones. <laughs> He's like going, Ooh. Ooh. yeah, going, Ooh. <gasps> yeah. Oh my god. Bad. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. There were these uh, like seventeen year old kids when I was going to the Planet Fitness off Marginal Way that were going to the Planet Fitness and like mind you and this is uh, like and we're not hating on anybody who's new in the gym or whatever. I am. Okay. He is. Just cancel him. Not not me and him. It's, we're we're safe. I can't do that. I'm it, trying to start a hey. fitness profession. Hey, really? Career. Yeah. Oh shit. Let me say something before you jump into your story. It's a public space. Be respectful of other people's space. You're not wrong. And time. Not wrong. And etiquette. Just have etiquette. Careful the noises. Right? Right? Come on. We're not animals out here. Right? We're trying to be jacked individuals with intelligence. You fucking idiots. All right. Back to you. Wow. <laughs> That's so serious and intense. Uh, no, there was like these kids. Tall kid. One of them looks like he he has the perfect build. He, he could build, but he's skinny. So arms are like this. He has potential. He would have potential, yes, for sure. And then his other friend, who is uh, does does not look in shape at all yet. They're new, like I said, but they're in the gym, right? And they are like screaming at Planet Fitness, screaming. They're curling with a one a bar, not singles twenty. Yeah, and they're Barbell. screaming. And then they're throwing it on the ground, being like, "Yeah." Let's fucking go! It's like, oh my, stop! Don't you love those? Stop. But don't you love those? <laughs> but don't you love those type of gym people? I love those type of gym people, but at Planet Fitness, it's like that's so bad. No, because I was every being, I was being facetious. Oh. I hate those gym people. Oh, I love the I love those gym people when they're like, if the if you're curling like a hundred fucking pounds and you're and it, your adrenaline's pumping and you're going for your PR, be fucking hyped all you want. But when you're doing your regular sets and you're screaming. The whole fucking time, and it scares the shit out of you. I, I I don't mind people that you know a little grunt here and there. Or, like, yeah, you know that's fine. I yeah. try to I I do it myself, but I I I try to keep it to myself. You know, not mm. so everybody in the gym can hear me. I, uh, I what if we did that? What if that was it? Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so 
I think at that <laughs> moment, I, I, you might have Let's a forty-five. Moan, bro. Let's have a forty-five pound weight just come flying at you. I don't moan in English. <laughs> oh, what do you got? What do, how do you moan? <laughs> this is gonna be a clip. Spanish. How do you moan? Let's. How do you do your moan? <laughs> what the fuck was that? What does that mean? <laughs> See, this is fucking terrifying, bro. <laughs> sounds like you're. Sounds like you're. Friggin' possessed, dude. That's fucking. See, that's Arabic, though. So you know what I'm saying. Like, what were you saying? I just said my my sweetheart, my babe. That's all I said. But uh, I just what language little... is that? That was Arabic. Arabic. Was tell it? him your name. How do you know Arabic? Tell him your name. Because are I'm you ha- Arabic? Yeah. No shit. Oh, he's gonna tell you your so, name. Uh, you Isn't Arabic? Wait. Go Isn't ahead. Ar- Arabic is the language. Correct. You you're, you're Middle Eastern. Yo, you are so smart, dude. I'm fucking. He's still insulted I'm, your pants. I'm, I'm cultured. You forgot my birthday, you bitch. <laughs> yeah, I, I never knew his birthday. to just put that out there. I, friends, five years. Going on five years being friends with this fucking scumbag. <laughs> He's like, WTF? It was your birthday the other day. He didn't even know it was my... He, late text. I, I saw your Instagram saying day. thank you for the he, fucking... He, he, Facebook reminded him. Uh, no, his Instagram story. Oh, his Instagram story. Yeah, because I, I, I got like... 50 people wish me a happy birthday. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for everybody who wished me a happy birthday, by the way. I appreciate every when single was one this? of y'all. June 1st. I'm a June 1st baby. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you, man. I appreciate yeah, it. Absolutely. This comeback still hasn't said happy birthday. Wow. You uh, piece of shit. What a piece of shit, right? No. So, um, yeah, I, I am. I am Middle Eastern, right? So my dad's uh, half Saudi Arabian. Oh, okay. Yeah. And my mom's Somali. So I, yeah. I know how to speak both languages. Saudi and English. Uh, Saudi Arabia, that's Ooh. not that's that's not in Africa too, is it? It's not in Africa. No, no, it's, no, no, no. it's in the Middle East. Yeah, yeah. the Middle East. But is they the have region. some like countries in Northern Africa that are Middle Eastern, like Egypt, uh, uh, Sudan. Yeah, those are Chad. Yep. Yeah, those, Mexico. Yep. Stop! <laughs> I'm gonna throw a shoe at you. <laughs> New Hampshire. Have you ever had a Spanish girlfriend to take their shoes? They, oh, dude, I love Spanish girls. They're, they're, they're flip flops. Where I grew up in Massachusetts, yes. huge Spanish community. It's, Spe- it's speaking the of, best. Speaking of the type of girls you like, remember when we talked about an episode the other day? We were talk- oh, yes. I said, if you have green hair, purple hair girls, run for the fucking hills. And that 27 is. 27 days later. So, what would you say your type is? Yeah, I, I, li- I like hippie girls. Yeah. <gasps> uh, yeah, I like I like I like the I like the <laughs> oh, I got him shot. I, I like the I like, <laughs> I like Oh my god. <laughs> I start doing it. Turns into something else. We can't lose our only black friend. <laughs> I like uh I like the color hair girls, but not the I know why you not, like not, them. not the feminist, you know, uh liberal Oh, he's going right for it. <laughs> You know, you know what I'm saying? Like the wait, the short hair. What do you mean? The... I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> did, you just, did, you just, did you just talk? Did you just bring up <laughs> already? You know. You know what's funny? That's the first conversation me and him had. That's what I told him. I yeah. told him that today. Yeah. yeah. What? Uh, but anyways, before we jump wait. into that, I have a good. Top wait, hold on. Topic. We gotta, we gotta find a way to cover cover my boy's tracks on that one. Make sure it doesn't get canceled for that. No, no, no. He just says he likes girls who dye their hair. That's all. But you said yeah. you don't like the. Is that what you said? I mean, I have nothing wrong against. I I I. I <laughs> all women deserve love. You're Absolutely, all, you're, you're all beautiful, bro. There's nothing. There's nothing better. <laughs> you're you're all tens. Let me save this sinking ship. Uh, I'm gonna play into my stereotype. There's nothing better than a. Fucking thick thighs and a fat ass girl. I agree. Mm. Mm. It's the best. I can't get involved in this because if I even say anything, I'm canceled. the one that gets fucking canceled, canceled every time. No, 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 no. I, I, I've noticed girls who who have those crazy hairstyles. They just, and in, in Maine is very prevalent, especially in Portland. I've always prevalent. thought they're more chill. Por- Por- like I said, Portland you, is a huge uh, hub for hipster people. Hipster people. Yeah, I call it hipster garbage. But, <laughs> yeah. but that's me Jeez. though, because hipster people are pretentious. Have his pants. No, they see, can be. That, see, hippie people misconstrue hippie, hipster and hippie. hippie it's yes. different. 
different. Yes. Completely different. Yes. Completely different subculture. Yes. Completely yes. different. Like hippie I people. I don't like hipster chicks. I like hippie chicks. Tree lock. Hippie. Yeah, he's hippie. Hippie. He's a hippie. He knows it. He, he, he knows it. No, nope. mm. Love tree lock. Super hippie. I get along with him. I've grown up with hipster friends in college. Jesus fucking Christ. You want to fucking just hit your head off a fucking brick. Because you'd be like, oh, you know, I, I really like the Beatles. And they, they, they come up with the most obscure band that you've never heard of. And they're mm-hmm. like, they were the best. I like mm-hmm. listening to them. It's just mm-hmm. like, okay, guy. Yeah. I, I don't yep. give two fucks about this. You know I what I'm know. saying? And like, they make fun of you for your, like, your clothing and how you dress because mm-hmm. you don't dress like them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, that's, not very I've, never imp- seen, I've never seen that side before. I've never like, I've always seen the most chill side of hip, hip, from hipster hip. people. Like they always just seem like super, just like uh, they're very vibey. pretentious. But the, obviously, they can be. He's, yeah. he's with the wrong. feminism, obviously, it, it, it's a strong thing in blue haired the feminists. hipster community. Uh, and we're not insulting feminists, but I mean, everyone can. Everybody can have their own Every, opinion. I mean, about I don't think it's want, wrong to be a man and not like when women basically tell them they ain't shit all the time. I don't know. Does that mean I hate feminists? It's I don't okay know. for women to have standards, but men are not allowed to have standards. See? I agree with that. That's yeah. good. That's yeah. Good. That's I good. like that. You want a hand job? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Logically Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Handies for everybody. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. We've we've gone into the topics of uh feminism and uh the the gym girl. Uh, thing I said a few fucked up things on a podcast once. Um, they were fucked up, but I was joking when I said, "If you don't want people looking at you, wear some sweatpants or whatever." I was joking, which is hilarious because all the girls now at the gym wear what sweatpants? Yeah, well, dude, but they oh. also wear those oversized tees and then they tie the back up. Uh, yeah, so fun. you can see their whole back. Oh, that's that's fine. That's fine. Let's I, not go down there. It no, is fine. I but, asked a girl about that though. I actually went up to a Did girl. Did she tell you gym. it's because they get it stuck in their butt cheeks? Yes. Yeah. That's what serious? she told me. Yeah. They get it stuck in their butt cheeks? Yeah. That's what they say. That's what they that's what their she told shirt? me. Their shirt? Yeah. Imagine if they didn't wipe and it got stuck in their butt cheeks and then they rolled it up and you just see it on the back. <laughs> Not everybody dirty as you. <laughs> <laughs> you filthy animal. What the fuck? What the uh, fuck? It just, just felt right. No. Felt right. Um, um go ahead. Can I tell you something? Yeah. Please. So I was in the our gym the other day that we all go to. And, uh, you know, there's the, the racks uh, where the pull downs and there's like the middle piece where yeah. the mirror is. Yeah. So some girl was doing pull ups there. Yeah. I didn't look at her. No idea what her face looked like. I just saw it was a girl. That's all I could see in my corner or S- silhouette. It was a sil- I could just tell. Yeah. And I feel weird even saying girl or boy now, but, uh, I could tell it was a woman. I- they <laughs> stop. I don't know. <laughs> so. I'm literally looking. I was with you that day. We were doing chest. Remember when we were going back and forth in those machines? I think I told you about this. I went I over. I went over to try to find one of the uh, things for uh, flies or whatever, just like a regular handle. Yes. And I'm going back and forth, and I'm looking on the ground, back and forth, back and forth, and I'm also texting on my phone at the same time. And no, I'm playing music. I'm changing music or something. Back and forth. This girl turns around and says, "Okay, what the fuck." No, she did. I didn't even look at her, and yes, she did. Straight up, I didn't even look at her, and I just fucking you didn't walked tell away. Me about that, maybe I didn't. Maybe I That's wasn't with crazy. you. Crazy. Maybe I wasn't with you. That is crazy. Fucking, I, I, I'm literally going back and forth, and I could see her like in my peripherals. Everyone's looking around, but I keep seeing. I'm like super focused on. I hope she doesn't like think I'm like stalking her right now because I keep going back and forth like a fucking shark. And she turns around, and is like, "What the? F- okay, what the fuck?" And I didn't even look at her. I just pretended I didn't hear her. And I had my headphones in, and I just kept looking for what I was looking for, and then I walked away. Dude, she was about to straight fucking try to cancel my ass, bro. Straight up. I wasn't looking at her at all. I mean, uh, to be honest with you, like, now nowadays, I'm not, I'm not saying that, you know, whatever happened with you, you know, it is what it is. But, like, n- now, it's, it's uh, you don't see that as much anymore. Ever see since, like, the, the whole, like, the whole gym girl's catching creeps or whatever yeah you don't really see that anymore that was like a thing for a little bit you know what i'm saying because joey swole and then called, joey swole that shit out joey called, swole's falling off though he's, no, he's dude, reaching no. now too much you follow him on instagram i do i follow him on he's Facebook. reaching he's reaching yeah. too much you think so i think so because right what now do you mean, he, what do you mean he's reaching he's reaching like much. obviously is uh, he, you mean he's like trying too hard yeah so like he's looking for things to complain about and like 
to the point where like it will be a video that's not nearly as bad as the videos he's reacted to before. But now it's like something not as bad, and he's still showing the same anger and energy. Like he's mind your business, mind your business, and then like which and, is true. And I love Joyce Wool, but he's definitely like he's trying so hard to hold on to that clout he got he, from that at he, that point. He was famous before he did the gym yeah, gym reaction. He was famous because he's he's a professional bodybuilder. That dude's freaking huge. huge. You know he's five six. He's my height. And look how he is jacked five he is. foot six. I was wondering why he looks so much like a chode. Yeah, but he walks around with a fucking Jesus. Fucking he looks like a chode. He's short and wide. Okay, yeah. this is how it is. Yeah, see, when I, I wouldn't want to be that big. When I got, do you was I working with you when I was like using steroids back in the day? Yes. Yeah. Are you gonna admit to Your everything? Kidneys, kidneys were all fucked My up. Kidneys were all fucked up, and everything it was the whole thing. And it, he, he, I can tell people that I'm not on them now. What were you taking exactly? D Ball and Decker. Were you? <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Or were you? Were you not taking steroids? Were you taking SARMs? No, it was, uh, it was steroids. Because ste- you you can actually it was taking it was I steroids. Know. I just wasn't injecting them. You you, you can pills? You're taking pills? It was a pill. Oral. Jesus it was pills. Christ. Yeah. Oral steroids are the fucking. You yeah. you can actually buy SARMs at fucking PNC. Well, I don't want to do any of that. I just want. What to is SARMs? SARMs selective androgen modulator receptors. No, I said it wrong. Selective androgen receptor modulators. Oh. They're supposed to like mimic steroids, but not. It's have, all bad for you. It is. They say they don't have the side effects of steroids, but they do. They're just as bad. But they actually sell them at PNC. Uh, that's supposed form. to get you jacked. They can. Yes. They can. Y- they can. They will. They will get you ripped. Like there's Osterine. Uh, Rad one forty MK six seven seven. Should I get on some songs? I I, I actually the, thought no, about it. No, no, no. I no. thought about it, but the the only reason I would ever use steroids again is to get rid of all of my body fat real quick and then cut off what the did you use? Fucking Christ! What you're did a you fucking. Use? I don't remember what it was called. You're one twenty five. You're one thirty five. Start with a D. Huh? D ball. D ball. Yeah. I'm one sixty. No, it wasn't D ball. No. Decker. I don't remember what it was, but I'm not going to sit here and say the the person who sold me these are it's 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 God a, it's a company. It. I can't get into it. Okay, <laughs> nope, nope. Let's let's jump Very off. Very popular the main company. So <laughs> so we were talking about a uh, couple days ago. A <laughs> couple days ago, you and me were talking about something. Sex. And uh, no, I want to bring it back up. And uh, we we're anal talking sex. about the the body positivity movement with the right? anal sex. While you, I don't like anal sex. What? No. What? Just don't like it. It's weird. Do you feel dirty when you when you... I feel dirty? Oh, wait, let's let's oh. specify. You don't like giving anal sex. Yeah, I what? Yeah. I don't like doing it. You <laughs> are <laughs> sorry, You I'm are such playing. a monster. You're like, a guy. You're too nice. I, you're too nice. I, I, play it, I, I, play hate, it. I hate you. I feel so bad. I keep, I keep making jokes and you're like not get you're not understanding I'm fucking with you and you're just like He's too nice. <laughs> He's just too nice. You're gonna corrupt another person. He's too nice. Too nice. Say it to me. Say it to me, you like a no? You like a no? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what's yeah. funny? We have that fucking window open. <laughs> a bunch you of dudes yell at those guys. Yell at about eating anal. those two hundred dollar uh, plates. You don't really don't like anal? No. Nah. I mean, I done it one time in it. If a girl got a bunda and she's trying to let me into the back uh, door, m- I'm not saying no, bro. Why don't I you just, like anal? I don't I'm know. not saying. I don't I'm not know. I just feel. Like I just not. feel weird about it. I don't know. Wow, Did like I, fi- like it's not supposed to be there. Have you found God? No, I no. I gr- actually grew up Catholic. Uh, I was confirmed in, how in the Catholic not, Church. How do you not like anal in your Catholic? That's the loophole, bro. <laughs> oh what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, I just. I know it's not supposed to be there. I had a lot of Catholic friends. <laughs> no, no, I don't subscribe to that faith. So anymore, no. I haven't for the only reason I did do it was because my grandmother. You don't believe in God? I believe in Jesus a higher power. Jesus Christ, that I, was so aggressive. Okay, I, I'm asking. I'm just asking. I believe in a higher power. I don't believe that there's some bearded guy, bearded guy in the, the sky. The older, the older that I've gotten, the more, the more I started. I, I believe in God. I believe in God. I believe, I believe, in, I believe in God too. I believe I have in Allah. To. I have to because there's no way this world can be this effed up. Just think about it. It could be worse. You know, it always yeah, made me I, wonder about that too. Is like, if there's a god, why is it so fucked up? Because he just lets humans do because of free will. Exactly, free will is how you know God exists. That's how my yeah. mom told me, and I, I said, "Hey, I appreciate you." I'm not me. saying that I don't believe in a god. I believe there is 
something greater than human beings. Absolutely. You ever wonder that? Like, this is going to... I'm not talking about aliens. This is going to blow your sack. This is going to blow your fucking sack right out. My nut sack? Yeah. It's you gonna want me to fucking bust, don't you? It's going to smell bad. Uh, All over you. <laughs> the fuck? Just, uh, I'm going to hop First back anal, and, and then we're making down. those jokes. <laughs> uh, fucking... Imagine, think about like this. I always thought about this, and it's like, it's wild, right? How did anything, <laughs> including a god, come out? What are you laughing at? <laughs> because every time you say this is wild, I'm just embracing for some stupidity for you to <laughs> No, say. this is wild. This is real. This is legit. This is legit. I promise. <laughs> okay. There's a god, for se. All right. Out there. Yeah. The whole thing. Yeah. How did... The God, how would God have been created, right? How was, like, was the, was the, whatever this is white, was it just plain black? How was everything cl- created? On the first day, God created the sun. How did God get here? The moon. He just God, Who created God? Everyone no, has a creator. He just is. He is the creator. But how is he? See, that's how, the thing is. On a, the first day, God created light. Okay, but how Everything was did in darkness God, how did that. God, how was God formed? How was, if there's, if without God or all these planets and everything, there'd be absolutely nothing, correct? How the fuck did anything happen? See, I, see, this, this is what a lot of people, saying, huh? because, yeah. it's because our, our brains cannot con- comprehend because we're so, we, our our brains is based on logic, right? So we try to see the logic in everything, and we try to see the logic in God, but God is omnipotent. Some people say that the worst thing God gave us was the capacity Com- to critical, critically critical think. think. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. And then the second thing was actually free will. Holy shit. Yeah. I know, I've always wondered that. Was like, was, I'm not was a... Was everything white? Was it all pitch black? It was black. There's also seven heavens. But too. that's the thing is, if it was black, how would it be anything? You know what I mean? It's so weird. No, it's, it's not crazy. because if you go in space, you know what I mean? no, if you go to space, it's black, right? There's yeah, no, there's no light. Black in aliens. Space. Yeah, there's no light My in dog. space. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, bro. That's two in a row. <laughs> as much as I like giving you a hard time, I, I have to give you that. Black aliens, my people. <laughs> All you whites are gonna get I'll terminated. Tell, I'll, tell, I'll tell you some weird shit, and this is why I believe in a higher power, not per se God. But you ever heard of the Wim Hof method? No, you've never heard. You know, you know who the Ice Man is. He's like the only guy to climb Mount Everest in his boxers. I've never heard of that. that he's the one amazing, that like, He's the one that started like the cold therapy thing. You know, like swimming in cold water. Yeah, he he. Like scientists did tests on him, and he can change his immune system when he's in like ice water or yeah. or snow. Like they literally put him in a box full of ice, and they took his core temperature, and it did not change. What is it? What is the Isn't human that core? Not is core that a temperature. Real thing? Yes, dude. There's videos on YouTube. You what can search this. What is the human this. core temperature? Ninety-eight point. I want him to tell. Sorry. I don't know. Ninety-eight. Ninety-eight. Yeah. Oh, you anyway. mean like the basic regular? Mine was always yeah. ninety-seven six. That's mine. Everybody that explains a lot. Everybody, ex- yeah. No, what does wonder, that explain? no wonder. You, <laughs> no wonder. No wonder it takes a little bit of time for stuff to travel to your brain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, everything yeah. is frozen. It does. You're right. Um, I, I, this this is how I figured out that I uh, started believing in Allah, and I uh, was I was officially like, okay, I, I believe in God. I used to always think like I never believe in God. Like I used to go. To like the mosque and you know mm. people would like you know read me the the quran you know what i'm saying yeah like you know you know what the quran is right the the, the muslim bible pretty yeah. much the quran and uh i would i would learn it memorize it so right now if you guys ever ask me i can just read it off the top of my head i don't even need to oh, look shit. At you it. never told me your name this your, is what you got from all of that your real name it got all serious but i really want you to just tell them your name my name my real name is mo what is your real name mo my real name is Mo Said. Mo Said? What is your real Mo name, Mo? My, my real name is Shabib. Say your whole fucking name? Mo Said Shabib? <laughs> Shabib is my grandmother's name to me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which I really... Muhammad Yahya Saeed Salim bin Subayah Nahdi Shabib. That's your real name? Yeah. Jesus, I couldn't even say that. Yeah, but you know, he usually says it our really names fast. is our names <laughs> is uh, you can you can use our names to find like my people. Yeah. Bin Subayah. 
is the people that you would look for. That's my tribe, you know, my clan. Yeah. Is it anything saying? like how like my real last name is Comalinen? Let me, kind of like let, that? Let, let's get back to that for a second. Just give me one, one, one second to say something about the Quran. So I was reading, you know, when I was younger, I was reading the Quran all the time. You know what I'm saying? They were like, you know, read this verse, you know, they explain it to me and I would learn about it. And then when I finally like went to college, I was like a little bit more like atheist. Like I, I, I stopped believing in God in college, which is... Which is explains a lot, right? I think everybody College. goes through like an atheist. Thing. I was just gonna say the same everybody thing. Everybody goes through that. So I was just like, I don't really believe in God. Da, 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 da. And then like the last like when I left college, I've noticed like the last ten years, like I I caught myself like always saying this. I'd be like, Ilahio hadidi awin karte wa kudaina ilahio udaa same bahanehe, which pretty much means like I always whenever I was in a bind. Whenever anything needed to happen, I was in a struggle. I was down. I would always say, "Allah, help me." It's like a God. Pra- it's a prayer. It's a prayer. Yeah. I would always revert to that every single time. Any time something bad happened, like if I like if I like you know got fired and I didn't have a job, that never happened. But I'm just saying, for example, like if something really like if like my furnace went or if I needed money or something bad happened. I would always catch myself always praying to God yeah. to make things right. And then it finally clicked on my head. It's like, hey, stupid. Every time that you're down and you need something, you're always praying to the big guy upstairs. Mm. Are you really an atheist? And I was like, I'm not. Right. <laughs> I'm not. That makes I, sense. I'm, a, real I'm, a, shit. And yeah. I'm a Muslim. So then I started going back, you know, started praying as much as I can, started doing the fasting, try to be a better Muslim. You know what I'm saying? Here's the it, thing. Religion is a tool to help you be a better person. Do you, so do you like pray? Uh, I don't know. Was I it try like seven to, seven times a day or something. Five like times. Five a day. times. You're close. But, You're yeah. still smarter than him. Yeah. And you and you <laughs> fast in the. It, it's either in days, the morning or the night. But, Thirty days during Ramadan. Y- but isn't there like a period of time during like every day that you're supposed to no, fast? I think that's a personal Just, preference, isn't it? Personal preference, yeah. But during Ramadan, from sunrise to sunset, imagine doing a Nothing podcast with this guy. No, no yeah. liquid, no nothing. Not, oh, no water, no water. How do you? What if no you mai. need to drink? No wa- What if you need to drink water? Like what? If, what if you're coughing you don't, so you don't bad? Don't do it. Don't do it, dog. So do you? Since you're Muslim, do you believe in having multiple wives? I see. Here's the thing. That's a lot a great of people, question for this no, guy. That's a. That's not a religious thing. That's a culture thing. Uh, a lot of people don't understand that. Is that a Tate thing? That's not a tape thing. No, I mean he ta- He's talked about that, but he doesn't like. We should talk. We should talk about Andrew Tate next episode because I just did a BBC interview I saw, with him. I, dude, I watched that today. Jeez, Whoa, I, what? Dude, send dude, me the link. Dude, what happened, dude? So, if you dude. think the media is not corrupt, watch this. You it's just in, like Rumble? No, 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 no it's it's on BBC. YouTube. BBC it's on YouTube. YouTube. Wait, I just watched it on, on YouTube. YouTube and it didn't get taken down. No, it's an actual interview with BBC, like the British broadcast. They went channel. to his house. And interviewed him in Romania, and he pretty and he pretty much freaking owned him, owned him, owned him hard. And it's just like, God damn it! But yeah, anyway. it was only thirty three minutes long, and by the they end cut, they cut a lot of it the, out. It was but like, but you can watch the unedited version, which is what I watched because I don't know if BBC knew this or not. But he was t- recording it at the same time that they were, so they he's couldn't. Genius, yeah. So he they couldn't do that. Which, if you didn't know, he got that from uh, Jedediah Bila, who is another YouTuber. Valuetainment! He, see, he knows what value... I was just telling him about Valuetainment. PDE Podcast! Yeah, Saucecast! Thank you. Get thank some you. education! Yeah, come hey, on, I'm, man. I'm educated on our podcast. That's all we need. Come on, man. <laughs> but yeah, so he, he... I think he got that from her because I watch her as well, and she... She used to be on The View. She was on Fox. Yeah. Too. Yeah, yeah, she was on the view, and she there. got kicked out. Yeah, because, because she had yep. her 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 beliefs were too strong. She's too conservative. Too conservative, right? So then PD, PDD picked her up and put her put her on his podcast. I gotta see that. It's great, dude. It's, it's fantastic. It, it, by the end of it, the the uh, did you watch that Fresh and Fit live that they I did, did last night? That was awesome. That was I watched fantastic. that. This Who morning. did that? Fresh and Fit. They Fresh did and Fit with uh, uh, Sauce Cast. I like him too. Sauce? Yeah, he's yeah. cool. I, like I don't. Him. I don't pay attention to a lot of other shows. I like all those guys. Know you know what I've been paying attention to a lot lately? What's up, brother? We're gonna we're gonna run out the podcast here in a couple of minutes. Um, next two episodes, like this episode, and next episode is gonna be forty five minutes, and so we're gonna have a guest again. Obviously, um, you know what I've been watching lately that's fucking dope. 
Yeah, dog. Have you guys seen Ozark? You don't like Ozark? Where have you been, dude? He's so late to everything. It, they're on like, I was I watched it back in the day, but I'm watching it again. They're making like a third season. Fourth season now. What? I don't know. I thought they ended I up I hope so, dude. Don't no. get my fucking hopes up. Nah, I'll no. cry right now. They ended it. Hey, let me... Oh, um, my God. Hey, let me... <laughs> Ozark. Great, great show. show. Jason great show. Bateman's fucking awesome. <laughs> Love him. Dog. Is that his name? The Jason star? Bateman. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. When He's they, a great fucking when actor. When, yeah. when they get... When, the, when the, 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 that corrupt lawyer chick gets... Sh- uh, spoiler alert. When she gets Blondie. shot... Blondie, right? Yeah. She, it's just like, holy shit. Right in front of them, yeah. the blood gets... Oh. I'm only like, back in the first season. in the house season. and she... That... that uh, Lady Not shot the him with a shotgun. Tom of the hillbilly? Yeah, the one that was selling all the opium or whatever. The, Opios, the, the yeah, lady yeah. with the husband, and she yeah. was running shit. Yeah. Shot, shot him with a shotgun yeah. right in the house, right in front of everybody. Yeah, you're, yeah. Talk, you're talking about the, the cartel leader guy that got no, shot no, no, in the head. No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Well, not the cartel leader, but the, the uh, first The OG charge. cartel guy was losing power to uh, his brother, his cousin, whoever the, yes. the other guy was. Yeah. And the his nephew. Guy, his nephew, and that yeah. guy was crazy. Right, and then Blondie that was working, he didn't trust her, and just to prove a point to them, he shot her. Oh, she was the one that was like trying to. She was the uh, informant. She worked yes, for the yes. uh, 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 the big boss. Right. So yeah. the lawyer. So I haven't gotten back to that part yet. That's the lawyer you're talking about. I yeah. remember that scene where she gets shot. They pull up to the house or whatever. She gets out, and then and then you find out that all of this is run by even a bigger company, and you're just like. I know. Okay. I know. Okay. <laughs> but the thing is, well, once that guy got shot, the one that you just brought up, mm. uh, he he said, "Do you have any idea who he works for?" To the people, it's, I don't remember hearing that he. I thought he was the head of no, everything. No. And then when they said that, I watched that actually last night, like last or, that part last night. Or when night. the guy got shot in the dick. <laughs> Someone gets shot in the dick. I don't remember. I I watched it when it all first came out. So yeah, I watched it back. Dude, have you guys seen Euphoria? I fucking love Euphoria. Dude, dude. You, Euphoria, is that you saying? I can't, yeah. I can't, I can't do Euphoria. What? Have you watched it? Yeah, of course I've seen it. Bro. Like the whole thing? I've I seen love the it. first. I've seen the first season. It's fucked, dude. So good. It's it's, 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 it's like good, but it's like definitely dr- like so dramatized for sure. It makes you not want to have kids. No, because kids. Are I have doing a kid. I have a twelve year old. You so. have a twelve year old? Shout yeah. out, Jesus! Shout, shout out. out, shout out, your kid. That's it's. it's Scary, bro. It is. I'm afraid for my daughter. Yeah, you're just like, God damn. Because some of the some of the way these girls get treated on this show, she. I mean, this. what show? This show? Euphoria. And Euphoria. Oh, Euphoria. Yeah, no. There was a gangbang scene in that. Dude, it's, it's like. Crazy. Yeah, that was terrible. I can't believe That reminds like, me of that movie. I don't know if you guys ever seen it with uh, Anne Hathaway, where she is like a rich girl. She, she's hanging out with her fr- her best friend and they go, de- they live in LA and they go down to like the uh, Spanish neighborhood, Mexican neighborhoods because they want to be cool and act like gangsters and they end up getting a gangbang in oh, the movie. Fuck it's crazy. that dog. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah, it's it's terrible. Terrible. What movie is it called? I can't remember. Can't it's with remember. Anne Hathaway. What was it? The, the, the last episode I've seen was when uh, the drug dealer's house gets raided. In in what now? That's the last in scene. Euphoria. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, yeah. I like And the him. kid dies. And then yeah, his that little, little gangster ass freaking 12 year old, that dude was. That little kid? Yeah. That, that little kid's a model from uh, uh, England. UK. Dude, people oh, are shit. hoping yeah. and hoping that they somehow. Because they never said awesome. if he died or not. Oh, no. He got shot in the head. He was shooting. He was, dude. He was shooting. They didn't that show thing. that though, did you they? See yeah, him they, laying down, and yeah. then he gets up, and then he shots the guy in the shoulder part, neck area. Yeah, and then, and then he, that guy. And then you him. see him, and he's going <laughs> like that, and then, and then you, you yeah, you but can't. yeah, but that's the thing is, did it ever show entry into his body? I can't remember that part. I don't think so. It went black, right? So people are hoping that somehow he gets brought back. But also, that little kid was a kind of a psychopath, fucking psycho. When he stabbed that guy in the neck, dude. Crazy. That is a he good was a good show. He, Shit, dude. It was a great show. Awesome show. Yeah, the way Zendaya, and then it's just like, God. Zendaya killed it. Yeah. Dude, that reminded me so much of when I was growing up at that age, because I... I'm in recovery myself. Okay. Yeah. It just, it, it, that show is like spot on with like... That's what they were saying is a lot of people who are were... In that situation, they could relate to. I just think it's yeah. over because I had it's my not. I had benzo problems for a long time. Not anything 
Well, as some people, for sure. But I mean, I want to say that show is definitely over dramatized, though. What that show did was it um, shined a light to how younger people are like, like living living life. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And some of it is is true. I've grown up in in the hood where mm-hmm. I've seen stuff like that. Yeah. I'm not saying like that's exactly 100 percent how it happened, but I've seen girls get had got trained on like a bunch yeah. of dudes would just bang out these chicks and we kind of knew them as kind of like the the easy girls you know what i'm saying yeah, like the mean, girls yeah. who just bang people and a lot of them ended up getting pregnant and having kids with all these guys and these guys were older than them by a couple of few years you know yeah. what i'm saying um i actually met a girl in florida that said that she prefers to not date she was younger than me she was like 21 and she, she said that she prefers guys. to date people around fifty-five to sixty-five. Dude, this, this reminds me. Talk because say we, it. We, we we say it, bro. We were talking about height. <laughs> we were talking about height earlier, and uh, how you you have to be in today's dating world for men. You have to be like if you're on the mark, you have to be at least five ten, five eleven, five twelve, <laughs> bro. I, I would say six feet tall minimum. But I st- I came across this girl's profile on tinder and i gotta i gotta i gotta show you because jesus i I screenshotted it oh my god you're kidding did she say something about height she did oh no way and a a wallet you'll i'll show you oh my god you thought i was kidding you thought i was kidding about these chicks saying crazy stuff that that you make a hundred grand are you six 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 Oh, six so, feet tall, six inches. You, six got a whole okay, so, you have a whole area. Okay, code. so so it wasn't height. I was wrong. It wasn't height. But she said, "I like my men with a big dick, but a bigger wallet." Let me see what she looks like. I didn't screenshot her face because. But you screenshot the conversation because that's no. Not- I didn't have a conversation. It was just in her, this is in her it bio. Was her bio. That was her opening statement. That, yeah. <laughs> Like women do not care. Today. What happened? What happened to people going on there being like, uh, "I just really, I like long walks on the beach." What happened to that? It was girls. so lame. Those are good girls. But that, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, what the fuck happened with that? Th- I want thanks s- to the advent of the internet and in the largest dating, uh, yeah, back in the day, profile in the world, Instagram. Yeah, Instagram girl, girl, dating profile, dude. It's the are largest freaking dating it's app the in the lo- world. Like, you know how many tail I've gone off t- uh, Instagram. Well, Instagram, yeah, but Dude, that's, rich, Tinder was these dominating rich, for obviously match matching. And it's shit. because all these these chicks that would usually date in like their community in like these small freaking towns, small places, you know, they're like the hottest girls in their town or whatever. They can with Instagram, they can reach freaking men from all over the world, like Drake. Exactly. Two chains. Hey, I'm gonna fly you out. Exactly. I'm, rich. I'm gonna fly Drake you with out. Ice Spice. Yeah. I want to know what happened with that. Nothing happened with that. Uh, he probably banged her, but I'm that's kidding. what I'm saying. I want to know. He, how he, he would. These rich guys are flying out these girls, right? These young girls, yeah, hooking up with them, right? Showing them a good time, driving in their Lamborghini, then they send them back. So then now this girl thinks, oh, all the guys must be. And, I, and, I have and, to do that to, to get with me. And I want to say that that women. I'm the, not saying all girls, but not all girls, but not, some the baddies. And the, then the, now you have a category called baddies. Like bad bitches. If, boss yeah, babes. Boss babes. Yeah. Baddies. That they, they think it's a flex that they slept with so and so. Like it's not a flex for you to sleep with someone because let's be honest, it's easy for women to have sex. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's easy for women to have sex. A woman could walk outside and be like Yeah. I have to dribble. Somebody have sex with me, and someone would do it. If we did that, I'd I'd go to jail. <laughs> you know? no, the, 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 sex, the sexual true. marketplace is is not it's not it's fair. skewed. It's, it's skewed, skewed f- uh, in the favor of women, which is fine. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But like, if you're a guy, you have to be again six feet tall, six figures, six inches, be able to dribble a basketball and dunk, and then also like speak like three different languages. If you if you're not, and, and, and still with all of that, you ain't gonna get as much matches as a girl who's just an average girl if you're not the, if you are not a, an attractive looking guy if you don't have game if you and if you don't make at least 100 grand a year you are gonna have a tough time you're gonna get you're gonna get uh what's what, what's that curved what's cur- that's right dude this girl at our gym the other day i've never been curved so hard by a chick in my life you you actually tried talking to these i girls? did i'm one of them how'd it go what'd you say i just said she curved i've never been no, curved. i'm saying like what did you I don't know if you've seen her, but dude, she looks like like an Instagram model. Like she's probably the hottest Is it girl. The two girls that always work out together. No, the ones nope, that are always nope. in the squat rack. 
Nope. She looks like she's got a BBL done. She's got blonde hair. Oh, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, that girl does have a BBL. And- yeah. He's for, I'm doing uh, leg presses. She's doing Am I gonna have to cut that out? She's she's doing. Yeah, we might have to bleep that. We might have to bleep that. So she, only because everybody at the gym knows about the podcast. <laughs> she, so she's doing freaking nothing, just like squatting in front of everybody, going up to the freaking dumbbell rack and just like lifting her leg up in the air and doing all this shit. And she goes, "I'm doing leg presses." She goes over to that hamstring uh, press machine where yep. it's like. That big Bent bar, over. the yeah. big bar that comes out and you go under it and you're kind of like squared up like this and you go down. It's like a pendulum almost. Yep. She's just looking at it. So I, I went up to her. I was like, hey, do you need help? She didn't even look at me. Just turned around and walked away. It's funny you said, I had, remember when I told you some girl did that to me the other day? I asked if she was using something because she was next to it, but she was also on another machine next to it. And she just like, I'm literally this far away from her. I'm like, hey, you using this just real quick. She's like... <sighs> Keeps doing a workout and like will not look at me. It's like, all right, all right, it's bad. Well, I'll just first fucking of all, use Chet, it then. you're not supposed to interrupt people while they're mid. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't. I'm not gonna wait for someone else to swoop in and take that fucking machine. I was waiting for like she's literally all over the place. She's running everywhere. Fucking, I I could not have caught her. Every time she stopped working out, she'd like walk across the gym and then she'd come back. I was just like, are you using this? I, I, like, I don't, I'm honestly guilty I don't of that. I I, su- I told you I superset everything. So I'm yeah. always using like multiple machines, but if anybody ever comes up to me and asks, "Hey, can I use this?" I'm like, "Yeah, you can use it in between when I'm using it. You know, I don't care. Do what you do." I, I'm I'm very I'm very nice with that too. I yeah. just I just tell people like, "Yeah, just if you need to use it, go ahead use it." Like, yeah. I, I noticed I, I, I get a lot of people care. to come up and ask to share but, machines with me there. Really? Yeah. I, a few times. I, I will say this times. though. I I I never I me personally I don't approach girls in the gym. Yeah, I've yeah. had girls approach me either. in the gym. Yeah, I, normally I wouldn't do it unless I make like eye contact with a woman a couple times. Then I would, but other than that, I won't approach. Even if I make eye contact with a girl like three times, I still don't. Yeah, just be just because I just don't want that that stigma of being a gym creep. I don't either. It's yeah. hard, man. It's, yeah. I, and I and I love that gym, and I like being. It's there. hard not to be a creep today, which is crazy because <laughs> I know, which is crazy because. All the you know all the powerlifter guys mm-hmm. you know Jordan mm-hmm. Pat all those I don't guys, know their Christian. names but I know them yeah that's they're all my friends so I, yeah. I hang out with them so we have our own little group of click or whatever and Ty yeah. Tyreek or whatever and uh, shout out to all of those guys uh, you know when I work out with them is it's 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 all of us there right and all of them all of them say the same thing they're like yeah we just stare at the ground look in the air. Don't mm-hmm. associate. We only talk to the boys and we work out and we leave. Yep. I'm just like, hey, I get it. Nobody wants to be a gym creep nowadays. It's, it's nowadays, crazy. like we were at one point wanted to be a gym creep. I was a total gym creep. No, were kidding. you really? No. <laughs> yeah, but you used to be able to talk to people without the stigma of being afraid that you were going to get blasted well, just the world on used social to, media. The world used to be different. I, I'm going to say something. I'm not trying to toot my own horn. I think I have a little bit of a lead with than compared to you guys. With what? It, in, in just in general, I just, I feel like I have a little bit because more you're over six feet. Yes. Yes. You know what's fucked up? That's probably actually true. It's accurate. And I'm black. I was gonna say that, but I didn't want to sound. Oh, <laughs> I'd say you're black, dude. You're looking at me. You're like blinking three <laughs> times. BBC. BBC. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I think I think a lot. I don't know. It all depends on how you. I think it's a lot to do with confidence. Oh, can I say sure. something real quick? What? I, I am confident. Thank you for saying that. Um. But not really. Uh, You're sad inside. I'm s- very sad inside. I'm sorry. He'll give you a hand job when we're done. Thank you. Um, He's not gonna give you one. I can't do two. My summer car. We'll do it. We'll do it at the same time. <laughs> so, so I bought a so I bought a summer car right before we wrap it up. I bought a summer car, right? And I'm like, this thing's gonna be. What sweet. is it? It's a Mazda Miata. It's a yeah. red one. Yeah, nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I put the wheels on it, lowered it. Make I'm trying to make it look nice, and I mm. put the you know everything like the one in Need for Speed. I bu- dude. Fancy as hell. Where did you get him from? Is he an angel? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, I've gotten more guys to tell me about my car than any girl has said anything Dude, to that me. That is true it's in fucked. in every aspect. Like <laughs> when you start when you start building like a great physique, you get more compliments from, from guys. Men. Yes, 
you get more compliments from men than you do women. Especially if you're like benching heavy ass weight, you're like, damn, bro. Girls don't give up. a shit. No, they don't care. They don't care. As long as you're not. And this is why I say body, Jesus body, fuck. body positive. <laughs> no, body positivity is only is Jesus only skewed to fuck. one side. I gotta bleep that. I gotta bleep that one. Even that body positivity shit. No, he just said as Obese. long as you're not. Well, you could be like lazy and you should. You'll get a you'll get a taste. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna let it ride out, but you're gonna get a taste of fucking when people are not happy. <laughs> Welcome to the entertainment field, my friend. Hey, it's my first time. It's, ter- <laughs> it's terrifying. It's yeah, my cut first time. Fucking slack, dude. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna cut it. I'm learning the do's and don'ts. We're, le- we're learning the do's and don'ts, and tomorrow you're gonna get uh, another chance too, because we're doing a double pod weekend again. A little, uh, I was sick as fuck last week, and I canceled it. Uh, before I go, uh, before we go, uh, before I get into something else, what I'm gonna say? Uh, we were supposed to have a close friend of mine, Pump, on last weekend, Dylan Nadu. Uh, as of two days ago, we said goodbye to his sister. So hearts with uh, Pump. That's uh, crazy for sure. I don't want to get too much into it, but. Uh, hopefully at some point we'll get him on. I don't want to ask him anytime soon. He's kind of just trying to figure everything out and shit, but yeah. Pump's the one in the dog video on my TikTok. Mm. Remember that? Yeah, that I met. He's like an electrician or something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you met, have met I him. I met him at a job site. Yeah, yeah. you have. Him. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, him. Yep. Um, but yeah, so. Condolences to his family. For real. For real. Um, we're going we're gonna to cut this uh, loose here. How'd you have fun today? I, it was a great time. Did you have a great time? Yeah, I just want to say thanks for, uh, you know, giving me a shot at this and bringing me on. Yeah.